keyboards, mice, headphones. All this is expensive because it has to be gaming, with RGB lights and other cool details. But do you know what else it is? Unnecessary. Like, why should you pay for some unnecessary accessories when you can have it for free? Keyboard? What is it MS-DOS? Headphones? It's a computer, not an MP3. You don't need it. Mouse? And maybe some cheese for that? All you need is a phone. Python programming skills and logical thinking. Although this is not mandatory, we have chat GPT. But now seriously, let's get to our plan. So here we have our phone. No, it's not exactly this one. This one doesn't even work because I record with my phone. But that's not the most important thing. Use your imagination or something. The plan is that we will connect our phone to the computer via a socket server. On the PC we will write the code for the server and on the phone for the client. So let's start with the keyboard. Okay, the server looks like this and it won't change much for other functions. Here we create the server. Here we receive the characters and execute what we receive. Oh, this Python is so hard. Now we will create a UI for our keyboard on the phone, but we stick to the rule that a designer's dream is a programmer's nightmare. This is what I'm talking about. If anyone was wondering how I send it to my phone, it's via messenger. It is hard. Already on the phone, we go to PyDrive because it is free. Copy the code, install the libraries and test. Works. Let's try to write something. Let's test all the buttons. Space. Enter. Backspace. Escape. I forgot. Then let's fire it up again. This show is crazy. We've already done the keyboard, so now it's time for the mouse. Here the idea is, we will simply add one big button to our program, which will detect where it was clicked, and then scale it to the monitor screen. Fortunately, my monitor is a regular full HD and not a 4K 8K or 16K TV, so our mouse pad will be more precise. Do you see why it's not worth overpaying? Okay, but why is it rotated? Let's say that's okay. Now let's multiply our values to get the values of our screen. There will be some difficult math here. 1920 divided by 120 is 16. Okay, that makes sense. And 1080 by 145 is... What a beautiful number. And that's it. Now let's test our entire gaming setup. Let's try to play some games on it, like Subway Surfers. You just have to turn it on, and even that is a problem. Yes, my program is very intuitive. Okay, we've got it. You can play on such equipment, and we saved about $50. I promised I would make speakers or something else, but honestly I'm too lazy, maybe in the next episode. As always, code and pinned comment, subscribe for more.